WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern Time on Wednesday, two hours left to go in the trading day. We got markets hovering around a flat to mixed territory right now. S&P is positive by just one and a half points, trading at 3,073. You get the Dow up seven points, right at 27,500. NASDAQ negative by 25 points, trading at 8,409. Get the gold contract catching a bid up eight dollars and forty cents at fourteen ninety two. Silver up barely a penny at fifty. Excuse me, seventeen fifty seven. Notes and bonds getting a little bit of higher price, lower yield. The ten year up twelve ticks, one twenty nine ten. The thirty year up a full point and one tick at one fifty eight twenty nine. And the dollar index negative by sixteen ticks at ninety seven nine sixty seven. We'll start things off. Let's jump over the charts. We'll start it off with the Dow. A little bit of a seesaw action in both directions. We got a little negative action right around the opening bell. The market trades to lower territory again at 11.40 a.m., reaching lows just prior to noon of 27,343. We're now up about 90 points from that level at 27,432. S&P 500 reaches a low for the session of 3,063, now up more than 10 points from that level, trading 3,074. Crude oil market, we got EIA numbers at 10.30 a.m. this morning. Tom and I were on the air live for those. Quite a build, 7.9 million barrels. The estimate was only 2 million barrels. That sends the price of crude from $57.65 down to a low of $56.22. You're talking about almost a buck fifty to the downside on that trade. Currently trading $56.43. And there's your gold contract catching a bit of a bid today after quite a day to the downside yesterday. Gold reached a high of 1495, currently trading right now at 1492. Some of the movers and shakers out there, uh, the insider expiration lock expiring on Uber, getting some huge action on Uber. Quite a day to the downside yesterday. Uber coming out with their earnings Monday night, closed Monday at $31, closed yesterday at right about $28. Today, looking to close at 26.80, pulling that on a little bit of a longer time frame. Don't have to go too too far back from when they went public. The issue price, $45. Uber trading at four. Excuse me, 26.80. Stay tuned, folks. We got our man Dave White coming up live right now with the Power Trading Hour, live from two till three. And then Tom O'Brien wraps up the trading day live at three o'clock. Mixed markets, two hours left to go until that closing bell. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back. If you're a trader